guys, welcome back to the A2 About Anything YouTube channel. Today we're going to review the BetaSafe water conditioner by Tetra. And we'll also be comparing it with the Tetra AquaSafe for Betas water conditioner. Because the AquaSafe has now replaced the BetaSafe. So anyways, let's begin. So both of these bottles I have here are... 1.69 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters. The only difference is that the Beta Safe can treat 100 gallons while the Aqua Safe can only treat 50. So now let's move on to what each of these bottles do exactly. First, let's start with the Beta Safe. The Beta Safe neutralizes um, harmful chlorine, chloramines, and heavy metals in tap water and adds a protective slime coating for the fish, I guess. The AquaSafe, on the other hand, removes chlorine, protects, and reduces stress. So, I'm assuming that the AquaSafe protects the fish by adding an extra slime coating. I'm not really sure because it doesn't say on the bottle, but we can assume that's what it does. Um, it doesn't. It also doesn't say anything about reducing stress, so I'm not really sure how it does that too. Okay. Now let's move on to the directions. To use the Beta Safe, we need to shake well before using, and add seven drops per gallon or one capful which is five milliliters for 10 gallons. With the AquaSafe, we'll need to shake well before using and then add 14 drops per gallon or two capfuls, which is 10 milliliters for 10 gallons. So I'm not sure why um, you only need, you only need seven drops for the BetaSafe but 14 for the AquaSafe. Maybe the AquaSafe, or maybe the BetaSafe is more concentrated, but it doesn't say much on the back. The ingredients are the same, as you can tell. So, those are pretty much all of the similarities and differences between the AquaSafe and BetaSafe that are on the the labels on the cap or sorry on the container the only other difference is that is the um is are the labels themselves the front for the aqua safe has a half moon beta with a tap with water and it has bigger font the beta safe has two veil tail bettas in an aquarium setting i'm assuming and it has smaller text. On the back though, the AquaSafe has smaller text than the BetaSafe. Okay, so now let's move on to rating these two, or rating the BetaSafe, because I haven't used the AquaSafe yet. The BetaSafe is Pretty similar to the AquaSafe, so there shouldn't be that much of a difference in my rating. I will update you guys in the future after I try out the AquaSafe. Okay, anyway, I'm, I am rating the BetaSafe a 4.5 out of 5 stars because um, the bottle says that it makes tap water safe for bettas in seconds, but even according to the Tetra website, it takes a couple of minutes, so it's incorrect here. And I'm assuming it's the same for the AquaSafe, but it doesn't actually say it works in seconds on this. So if you're going to use the BetaSafe or AquaSafe, depending on which one you have, you should wait for at least three minutes before putting your fish back into the back into your aquarium. And 
Another reason why I'm giving the Better Safe a 4.5 out of 5 stars is because it hasn't really harmed my fish in any way. It hasn't caused any illnesses or um, injuries. I have used this for not only my bettas, but also my other fish. And the bottle itself says you can. Right here, it can be used for all ornamental fish, not just bettas. So ornamental fish are pretty much the fish in your aquarium, like goldfish and bettas. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you would like more unboxing and review videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!